Hey guys, welcome back uh, and happy Thursday. Actually, it is kind of a happy Thursday for me because when I go into work a little bit later, uh, this is my Friday, so this will be my last night this week and get a whole weekend off. So, you know, good times. Uh, a little stack of Marvel Bronze Age I want to show you. Uh, it's some of my favorite title. I'm trying to fill some holes. And uh, some of this stuff is, uh, you know, pretty decent shape, so it's kind of ready. Usually when I'm trying to fill a hole in a run, I'm not all that picky about condition, and then, you know, everybody's different. But later on, like if I have a cover or a, uh, an issue or a storyline I really like, I might go ahead and, and upgrade that issue later on. But mainly right now, I'm just kind of concerned with uh, filling some holes. So I found some good deals on eBay, so uh show what I got. Uh, first got a couple issues of the Defenders, uh, probably between the first Maybe the first 30 or 40 issue, or in the first 30 or 40 of that run, I think I'm missing maybe one issue, and that's number four. I think it's like the first uh, appearance of Valkyrie in the, Fed, the Defenders. Uh, here's one I was missing, issue five. Pretty cool cover with the Hulk and the Submariner. Valkyrie against Yandroth. Cry Yandroth. And I'm pretty sure uh, this issue and the next one, number six, has got uh, cover and art by uh, Sal Buscema, so good stuff. Uh, number six, I already had a copy of this, uh, but I got it with that one, and it was a good price, so, you know, pretty beat up. But, uh, you know, just to get the issue I wanted there, I, I went ahead and, uh, and got the lot. So number six, uh, pretty decent cover, a little more Sal Buscema. Uh, you got the what I would call some of the uh, classic defenders lineup with the uh, Silver Surfer returning and uh, Doctor Strange and Submariner. And you got Valkyrie, uh, cool issue. Okay, you got some uh, Avengers to fill some holes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this one's kind of beat up, but like I say, I'm just trying to, uh, to fill in some numbers here, and then, uh, like I said, if I want to upgrade some stuff later, I'll always do that. We have Avengers 113. Great Scarlet Witch and Vision in the foreground. I think Bob Brown did the art on this, and I would, you know, I'm not really a, a huge fan of Bob Brown stuff. I kind of liked him when he did the. And I think I mentioned this on the comment on an earlier video, like ETA Nick or some one of those guys. But I wasn't really a fan of Bob Brown's work unless he was inked by Murphy Anderson, and he did a lot. There was a lot of those. Uh, I guess art pairings in uh, the old Superboy comic from the late 60s, early 70s. So, but anyway, cool cover, fills a hole. Okay, Avengers 129 with Kang, one of my favorite villains from Marvel. Avengers 137, a cool beast cover. I think uh, George Tuska did the art in this one. And, you know, a lot of times I think Tuska doesn't get uh, a whole lot of love. But the, he really was uh, a pretty good artist, in my opinion. I'm not sure who did the cover, but I don't know. That might be Ramit on the cover. Could be wrong. And we have 139. With the uh, one of the infamous floating head covers, <laughs> the whirlwind. I don't know. I'm one of those guys. I kind of like the floating heads. A lot of people don't, but uh, I just think those are pretty cool covers. Okay, and these uh, last several. Uh, I know there's some fans out there of the uh, Kill Raven series, War of the Worlds, and Amazing Adventures from the '70s. And uh, I think, you know, Chris from Speak Demon Model Shop, he comes to mind first because I know he was a big fan of this series. And, and I need to fill some holes. And I actually found like uh, 15 Amazing Adventures between like 18 and maybe 18 and 34. And actually uh, probably had about 10 of those issues missing. So, you know, I got a great deal on these. So I was kind of uh, real happy to get them. Uh, First one, I'm sure most of you seen this that uh, the Love Marvel Bronze Age is uh, Amazing Adventures number 18. You know, it's got a Ramita cover, it's got Neil Adams and Howard Chaykin art. Uh, this one's really beat up. I've got a high grade copy of this, but 
still a really cool book and a, uh, a great series. Uh, this is one of those ones you just want to sit down and kind of read in one sitting. And, I'm, and I've and i read the stuff, but I, I just kind of want to wait till I get all of them to and just kind of finally sit down and read the whole the whole thing. I know it's been reprinted, but uh, I just kind of wanted to have the originals in this case. Like I say, this is pretty beat up, all kinds of creases and everything, but, you know, it's a good read. Number 18. Uh, before I go on, I kind of I kind of researched this, and there were just so many great artists uh, on this series and in this run of uh, World of the Worlds with Kill Raven, and it's like a uh, it's like a who's who of uh, really top artists uh, from the 70s. And, uh, you know, the list is, like I said, the list is huge. I mean, you had uh, Sonny Trinidad, and, you know, some of you may or may not have heard of him. He did a lot more work uh, in Marvel's black and white stuff than I think he did on the color comics. I could be wrong about that, uh, but, I, but I always liked his work. Uh, you got Keith Giffen, Al Milgram, John Romita, Neil Adams. Uh, Frank, and I've never known how to pronounce this guy's name, Gioshoa or Gioshie or however you pronounce but he inked a lot of stuff. Uh, like I say, uh, aforementioned Howard Chaikin, Herb Trimpey, Mike Esposito, Frank McLaughlin inked a lot of this stuff. Uh, Rich Buckler, Klaus Jansen, Jack Abel. Uh, D. Bruce Berry actually inked some of this. Uh, he was a long time Jack Kirby inker on I think, a lot of his DC stuff. Uh, Dan Green, Gil Kane, Gene Colan, uh, Dan Adkins. I think uh, Jim Starlin did one of the covers, one or two of the covers I really enjoyed. Uh, Pete Craig Russell is a name that really stands out in this because he did a uh, he did a pretty good run of art on this. And then in the uh, some of the earlier issues in this story, uh, well this run anyway, uh, you have some reprints by Bill Everett and Steve Ditko. So there's another reason to pick that you know this run up. Uh, a couple more, Keith Pollard and uh, Marie Severn. So you got like a who's who of like uh, just awesome artists from the 70s. Uh, and I'm, I'm not really sure who did a lot of the scripts on these. I keep thinking Don McGregor, but I might be wrong. Uh, I'll have to go back. I was just looking for the artists. But uh, anyway, uh, I got like 15 of these. I'm not really sure who the first one, but uh, most of these are in pretty good shape except for uh, like 18 and 19. Uh, this one's a little beat up. You can kind of see, uh, you see a big crease going on there, but really I just wanted these to read and uh, try to fill some more holes. But these covers are awesome. Number 19. Oh. Number 20. I think from like through 19 through 25 was uh, one of the head missing and some of these will be duplicates of stuff I've already got but uh, I got a really good price on these so I was I jumped all over it okay number 22 pretty much all the rest of these are fairly high grade I would uh, put them at fine very fine Jansen cover. Uh, twenty. No, yes, twenty-five. It's pretty cool stuff. If you like, uh, like your sword and sorcery, or like your. Uh, Sort of like a he's he's sort of like a Conan light, but like in a sci-fi setting. Uh, number twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Number twenty-seven. Uh, here's one of the Jim Starlin covers. Number twenty-seven. One of my favorites. And now we're getting into some P. Craig Russell covers, which are also great. 
great. Number 28. Number 29. Yeah, number 30. More Russell Art. Another great cover. And number 34, the last issue I have. I'm thinking this uh, this title ran maybe 39 issues total. 39 or 41, I'm not sure, but uh, got a few more holes to plug and uh, I'll have this one completed. So, But that's all I have for tonight, guys. Uh, Thanks for watching as always. And uh, very soon I'm going to be trying to do a, uh, a series of videos on my 100 pager since uh, you know, I've completed that run. So that will probably be split up into several parts uh, because I think there's 115 issues all together. So I'm not going to try to bombard everybody with one big giant video. Uh, and also I've got some more, uh, got some more high grade silver and bronze from Marvel DC. Maybe some Harvey stuff I think. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, you guys have a great night and onward and upward.